Formula One and the FIA are going to have to talk with the teams regarding safety concerns around the Miami Grand Prix. As Lando Norris says that the track surface was just going to crap in South Florida. And meanwhile, Fernando Alonso is on his knees and apologizing to Pierre Gasly after the incident that triggered that safety car at the end of the race. I'm Ollie Wilson, this is GP Fans, and here are the main talking points in the world of Formula One this Wednesday. McLaren team principal Andreas Seidel has suggested that talks will take place with the FIA and Formula One regarding the Miami International Autodrome and the safety concerns raised around the track and its circuit in hopes to get it right by 2023. The inaugural Miami Grand Prix was a great success in terms of fan engagement and the general market exposure of F1, though some believe the off-track experience perhaps overpowered the on-track action. Added to that, there were across the weekend complaints about turns 14 and 15, the chicane there, as well as the placement of a solid concrete wall at the same part of the track. Esteban Ocon labelled the FIA unacceptable for failing to heed drivers' concerns after the Alpine driver and Carlos Sainz crashed at the exit of turn 13 with the Spaniard carrying neck pain into the race. Just today, GP fans reported that Lando Norris thought the Miami track surface was turning into crap throughout the inaugural Grand Prix saying we come here everyone expects a great race and we just can't do it because of the surface we are racing on you see every time someone goes a little bit wide they lose two seconds i think also the track is tearing up and literally turning into crap so we have to start using all these curbs because if you stay on it it's just like oil or something now the McLaren team principal Seidel has revealed that the sports governing bodies will be discussing the circuit and improvements that can be made for 2023. We all need to take our time now together with the drivers, the engineers, to digest this weekend and then go in a dialogue with the FIA and Formula One to see where we think things could improve for better racing, for example from the safety aspect, said Seidel. I don't know how it was for you guys, but overall the race was okay out there. Elsewhere, Fernando Alonso has apologised to Pierre Gasly for the contact the Spanish driver made with the Alpha Tauri man that triggered Gasly's crash with Lando Norris and brought out the safety car at the end of the Miami Grand Prix. The Alpine driver lost time in his pit stop and was looking to push himself back up the order before making what was described by Gasly as a dive bomb manoeuvre that led to contact between the pair. With Gasly's car damaged as a result, Lando Norris tried to overtake up the inside of the Alpha Tauri, leading to a hefty impact between Gasly and the McLaren that sent Norris's tyre flying off his car, retiring the British driver and bringing out the safety car. But the Spanish driver Alonso has apologised to Gasly regarding the initial contact and incident and admitted publicly that it was my mistake, I broke too late. We were ready to give back the position, but he was in the pits at that time, so I have to pay those five seconds, and then the safety car was right and perfect for the hard tyre starters once again. So we lost a couple of places there. Alonso seemed to be playing almost bumper cars in Miami at times after being handed two five-second penalties, one after the race for leaving the track and gaining an advantage, and also making contact with Lewis Hamilton at one point during the race, with his penalties costing him his points position finish. Frustration then for Alonso and for Alpine, a little bit of frustration as well for us as viewers watching that Miami Grand Prix. Maybe we should thank Alonso for perhaps triggering that incident that gave the Miami Grand Prix that little bit of life at the end of the race. We still want to know your comments and thoughts, so let us know down below in that comment section and hit subscribe to stick with us here at GP Fans.